guys, what's up? It's your girl, LBO. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, I'm going to 7 and today we are here in Minecraft and we are playing Dragonfire 2 Nations. Um, so basically, I've never played the first one, but I've seen so much gameplay of it. Um, if you don't know who created Dragonfire, it was Tiny Turtle, um, some part of the little club. Um, I'm not going to lie, I used to watch them when I was younger. If you didn't, you didn't have a childhood. Anyway, um, today we're playing the second map that he has made with his uh, team. But we're going to explore where we are right now. Let's go down here. Um, ooh, okay, so like a little deck. Ooh, dragon treats. Okay, I have seen parts of the mod before, so I know what dragon treats are. It is dragon fire. It is based off um, how to train your dragon. Is there anything here? No? Okay. Uh, Alright, so let's close this. There's also these chairs that look pretty cool. Oh, whoa, I can just, uh, ooh, ooh, okay, uh, all right, let's go over here, ooh, okay, what's right here, is there, ooh, gold nuggets, give me, I want gold nuggets, I know, oh, wait, no, it does work on the recreation, huh, okay, uh, the commander, hello, ah, you're awake, we're almost at the new frontier, it's about time we get you started, when you're ready to begin, use the I'm ready button, and we'll get you started, your highness, your highness, ooh, I, I'm a, mm, ooh, okay, apples, and a bottle of enchanting, who are you, airship deck crew, I can't wait to arrive at the lush lands, I hear it's super pretty, ooh, lush lands, um, airship deck crew, it's been a long journey, we're finally almost at our new home, exciting, is there anything in the barrels, that's rotten flesh, ew, ooh, cookies, give me, I want some cookies, and some bread, okay. Lots of extra food. Ew, not that. Never mind. Um, anything else? Ooh, dragon coins. Let's search this entire ship. Ooh, so we got some fish. Um, ooh, more fish. All right, I'm getting a lot of stuff out of this. I didn't check this chest, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we got some sugar cane. I don't know what that could be useful for, but whatever. All right, let's put um, let's put the uh, bottle of enchanting up there, the fish and the fishing rod. Uh, I'll keep the bread and the- actually, yeah, I'll keep the bread up here. I'll keep the dragon coins right here. Okay, uh, is there anyone else I can talk to? Airship deck crew, have you decided what nation you are going to begin yet? Not sure. Ooh, so nation, we get to pick nations, right? Um, ooh, so we have the- oh, let's see these nations. So we have the fairy nation, we have the earth nation, the fire nation. I think there's more, but I don't know what the rest are. Ooh, okay, so let's- I'll check that out in a minute. Ooh, oh wait, this is, a, this is an airship. Oh, I didn't realize this was an airship. Oops. Um, all right, let's check down here. Ooh, chest. Ooh, that is a lot of dragon coins. Mine, now. Um, what's in here? Ooh, some wheat. That could come in handy. Uh, what is this? Uh, want to report a bug? Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so let's report, report a bug. Keeper of credits. Hey there, would you like to see all the names of the people who made Dragonfire 2 possible? Ooh, I want to see... Uh, Tiny Turtle Little Lizard. Yeah, okay, so that's that's what I was thinking. Okay, so yeah, it's made by Tiny Turtle Little Lizard. I don't like the music, though, because the music's probably copyrighted, so... Uh, ooh, wait. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, no, no, the build team. Ooh, an Ender Pearl. Um, alright, well, I like looking at the... to see... I want to give credit to the people who made this, so whatever you see on the sides is who made it. Um, okay, is that it? I can get them down here. I think it is. Um, Alright, so let's go up here. I haven't checked up here yet. Ooh, so start ship. Ooh, okay, we got more apples. Uh, some more sweet berries. We got an emerald. Ooh, more cookies. Uh, did I check that already? Uh, yeah, okay, that's just cobwebs, and then that's it. Okay, so the commander. Ah, okay, so... To get you started, I'm ready! Commander, good to see you, your highness. Uh, let me quickly turn my sound back on. Uh... Preparing operations for us in the frontier. Follow me, please. It's oh. about time that you chose what kind of nation you'd like to rule over in these new lands. Interact with the nation selected table in front of us to browse your options. Once you're ready to confirm your choice, head over to the standalone button and interact with it to begin your nation. Your friends can all start their own nations too, or join yours. Okay, let's see, so Fire Nation, okay, so we have Fairy Nation, Fire Nation, Light Nation, Shadow Nation, Water Nation, Earth Nation, 
<laughs> There's a lot of nations. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, the Fire Nation would seem cool. Do I get, like, superpowers or something? Or is it just, like, whatever nation I want? Um, the Light Nation and the Shadow Nation sounds kind of cool. Um, Water Nation. Okay, I don't think I'm going to do Water Nation or Earth Nation just because. Um, maybe Fairy Nation? I'm not sure about. Uh, I think I'm between Fire, Light, and Shadow. Um, I think I'm going to skip Fire. I'm between Light and Shadow now. Um... You know what? I'll go with the Shadow Nation. That sounds cool. So then I go to you, right? Uh, yeah, I said I'm ready. Okay. Um, are you stuck? Oh, do I click this? Hold on, let me check chat. Um, to interact with the nation select table, then head over, browse your options, then go to the standalone button. Okay, so yeah, this is a standalone button. Um, is the music still going? I kind of want to check because I don't want the music to be going still. Already to confirm your choice, head over to the standalone button and interact with it to begin your nation. There we go. Your friends can all start their own nations too, or join yours. Bam! Dragonfire Nations, Bedrock Edition, Shadow Nation. Your adventure begins. A mummy egg and a shadow return stone. Ooh, wait, where am I? Oh, it's loading in. There we go. Ooh. So I'm at the Shadow Nation. A mummy egg. That sounds kind of cool. I checked this, right? Uh, I guess not, but it's seed, so it's fine. Um, oh wait, is this a different ship? No, it's the same ship. Um, okay. Start ship, turn waystone. Okay, so let's talk to you. Welcome to your first nation, your highness. Your first dragon egg awaits you at the hatchery. Make sure to speak with all your citizens. They will offer you information and services to help you make your nation the best it can be. Oh, uh, yeah, show directions. Ooh, elytra. Okay, I was just given an elytra. Ooh, okay, so there's a big arrow over there. Let's talk to you, Gideon. Is that say Gideon? Yeah, Gideon. We've recruited people from all walks of life to join your nation. Citizens have already opened services for you. Enchanters, carpentry, blacksmithing, and more all can be found around your nation island, your highness. Ooh, great. Um, so I'm a queen, right? <laughs> Uh, ooh, anything here? Oh, the islands. Okay, I'll check that out later. Uh, islands expert. I can help you learn about each island, what area would you like me to tell you about? Um, I kind of don't want to learn about areas right now, even though that would be cool. Uh, cartographer. Hello, your highness. It is my job to help you find your way around other islands in this region. I have enchanted some compasses with the locations to teleport waystones on each island. Uh, you sh should you make a wish to make your way there, drag him back. Um, okay, so drag an expert. Ooh, okay. Uh, did you know you can access a dragon's inventory by pressing your inventory key while mounted on them? They carry useful items. One of them being the attack command item. Using that will have your uh, using that item uh, will make your dragon shoot fireballs. Be careful when you use it. Okay, so these are all the ones that I can collect. So we have the Storm Stratus, the Lotus, Flame Spitter, the B Ace Rex, uh, Azure. I don't know how to spell that. I don't know how to say that. Uh, Rogon, uh, Cinder Spike, Gladius Shadow, uh, Clang, uh, Foley Falcon, uh, Tigris, uh, Blaze Falcon, Storm Falcon, Zombie, Mummy. I have a mummy egg on me. A Silva, a Night Stalker, Nightlight, Shard. Um, I think that's pronounced with an F. Is it like kind of like, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I can't remember the dinosaur. It's a dinosaur that sounds like it starts with an F. Pterodactyl. Yeah, or not pterodactyl. Um, I really know it's pterodactyl, but it has a P at the beginning, but it doesn't have an F. It sounds like a T. Uh, then we have Myth, Magnus, and Dracula. It's like Dracula, but different. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so moving, rotating. Okay, so I can do that stuff. Uh, furniture tools, crafter. Uh, ooh, tools, please. Ooh, okay. This is cool. Um, I was also given the elytra. Uh, ooh, so these are waystones, I think. Waystone keeper. Waystones are a great way of getting around, but you can't take your dragon with you. You don't need to worry about getting stuck, though. You can use the waystone on the other side to return any time, or you can simply use your personal return stone, which I can replace if you lose. Nice tip. Um, ooh. Dragon tamer. The mummy dragon here is fierce and, uh, un- realting dragon when your hatching reaches adulthood it will look just like my friend here that's the egg i have so that's a dragon i have that's cool oh so this is the hatchery over here um 
uh, hatchery assistant harry to hatch a dragon all you need to do is place down your egg somewhere safe use it and use the hatching crystal the process usually takes about five minutes so no need to stick around and wait if you have things to do i can give you a hatching crystal anytime uh ooh, i'll pick a lead and then who are you uh can i talk to you Ooh, oh so i can buy stuff from you uh okay so the dragon coins are gonna be pretty useful uh ooh, what's this a dragon whistle is that how i train my dragon um okay so hold on where do i place it again i have to place it somewhere where do i place it to hatch a dragon all you need to do is place down your eggs somewhere safe and use a hatching crystal okay so i need a hatching crystal so which of these is there a hatching crystal here or does he give it to me oh crystal okay so give me the crystal there we go uh so i just need to place it down somewhere safe i'll place it inside the hatchery and then hatching crystal. Did I do it? Okay, and he said I have to wait five minutes. So while I wait five minutes, I'm gonna put the hatching crystal up here. That can start hatching. I'm gonna look, uh, what can I buy here? I have dragon treats already, so I'm not gonna buy any. Recall horn, interact uh, with your dragon while riding on ground to return to the nest waypoint. Um, the dragon whistle, interact to make dragons sleep slash wake, well to make uh, all baby dragons follow. Um, this should be useful, so I'll grab the dragon whistle. A uh, lead I already have. A saddle I'm gonna need so I can ride the dragon. And a name tag right now. I'm not gonna get it, but maybe later. Uh, while we wait uh, these five minutes. Ow! What just hit me? Oh, what are you? Hello? You just hit me. <laughs> um, okay. Let me see. Uh, ooh, wait, this guy has another exclamation point on his head. Oh, wait, no, it's the same one. Okay, well, that- I'm gonna go in here with my egg. It's probably safer in here. Okay, so these are, um, about all the islands, so let's look at these while I wait for my egg to hatch. The Firelands. The Firelands were once a great, uh, is that, is that supposed to say 11? I don't know what that says. Kingdom centuries ago, that was before the Fire Lord and his armies invaded. Since then, they have bent and broken the earth to their will, rendering it- a uh, charred and barren wasteland. The Fire Nation themselves now continually wrestle for their, for control over their territory against the corrupted wildlife and el elementals. They've called it into being. Uh, it is a very dangerous land. I'd recommend being well geared to take it on. Okay. So then we have the Gravel Lands. The Gravel Lands was once uh, used by the elves and uh the humans of the skylands for its boundless supply of rare ores the fire nation established a foothold here but were pushed back when the shadow nation took over Ooh, okay so my nation took over the two nations are still at war but have recently met a uh stalemate rumor um is that what we're supposed to say i think it is um has it that the fire lord has the shadow nation's guardian dragon egg held hostage it has my guardian dragon egg held hostage i kind of want that back now um, anyway, the Gravel Lands is now a restless bastion for the undead and other creatures of the end. Um, okay, the Marshlands. The Marshlands are home to the rather unpredictable beast race known as the Frogland. Uh, this isle has the largest population of the Frogland in the known world. We presume this is because of the legendary sacred resting place of the mythical dragon uh, Frogin. Isn't that something? The Marshlands are pretty hard to believe. Uh, or not pretty hard to believe, pretty hard to traverse, so I'd recommend bringing a dragon or an all strider with you. You certainly don't want to be stuck fighting the frogland on their home turf without some advantage. Okay, uh, the Skylands. The Skylands are a beautiful natural wonder. The humans of the Skylands, um, Light Nation once, uh, regained. Does that say regained? No, it doesn't. Uh, reignited. Is that what it says? United Supreme, I don't know what it says, uh, Supreme all alongside the elves, but they've been keeping to themselves as of late. They have a monastery, is that what it says? I can't read, guys. Of the light and, not the ant, um, of the light, the monks there are the keepers of the guardian dragon Gladius, a legendary species of dragon, which is the opposite element of the shadow nation's guardian dragon. The Skylands Waystone will take you straight to the top of the monastery, where you should where uh, oh my god not where should you want wish to visit there we go uh i can't read guys okay is this is my dragon almost done uh i don't know how long it's been okay uh, let's go here 
the Feylands. The Feyland is humble home to the once proud uh, elves after the war. Most refugees left for the other um, elven, does that say elven? Elven? I don't know. Uh, kingdoms. At a modest population remains here uh, comp comprised of those who won't leave the, uh, the isles. Still, they remain uh, I can't read, guys. I had a brain fart. Um, still they remain, uh, dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and dragon lore. There we go, I read it, guys. I got this, don't worry. Um, much like the humans of the Skylands, they are super friendly and will help you out with whatever you need. A great place to start if you're looking to expand your nation and dragon collection. So I think we'll go to the Feylands first. Um, the Lushlands. The Lushlands, our new home, uh, it's mostly a farmland, a home to a few small settlements of villagers the primary threat here is from the beast race known as the crocomo is that how you say it i don't know um <gasps> i kind of stopped <gasps> hello there i'm gonna feed you <gasps> i want you to grow big and strong you're so cute <gasps> oh my god you're so cute I know you're a mummy, but you're super cute. Can I feed you apples? Oh, no. These are just for me. Okay. Dragon treat. Uh, I am going to eat an apple, though. Oh, you want rotten flesh. Okay. Uh, let me put... I did find rotten flesh on my ship, but let me... Does this guy sell rotten flesh? Um, no, he doesn't. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll go find you some rotten flesh. Hold on. Is there anything in here? No, that's carrots. Um, let's search around. Those are bones. That is not dry. That is not flesh. Ooh, gold nuggets. Give me these. Uh, okay. I do want to keep reading, though. Uh, give me a sec. I want to find some rotten flesh for my little dragon. That's sweet. Aha! Rotten flesh. Perfect. Now take this bottle of enchanting. Uh, alright. So let's just feed my little baby dragon some of the flesh. Um, I guess it's the healthiest diet for a mummy dragon. Not too sure. Oh, okay. So the, the flesh is what makes it grow big. Okay. So let's, uh, Let's finish reading and then I'll end the video off there. Um, so the lush lands, where was I in here? Um, let's just start from the beginning. The lush lands, our new home, it's mostly farmland and home to a few small settlements of the villagers. The primary threat here is from the beast race known as the croc Crocomo. They are easily to, uh, I can't guys, oh my God. Um, <laughs> they are easily, ease, I, what? Um, okay, whatever. To deal with one-on-one, -on -one, but if they attack you in packs, uh, that is where you'll need to be careful. This land is shared with other elemental nations that you or your friends can claim as their own. It's a great place to start your adventure, as there are plenty of secrets and eggs to find and to get in your nation. Uh, started and going strong. We're all glad to be here of service uh, to you, what your highness. Okay, so I think I'll go Feylands and then Lushlands. Um, okay, well, hello, little mummy dragon. Uh, drag do dragon treats help uh, it grow, or does it just make it happy? I think it just makes it happy. Um, alright, uh, can I- How do I make it follow me with it? I use the dragon whistle, right? Uh, interact to make the dragon sleep slash wake. Hold to make all baby dragons follow. Okay. It says hold. Oh, okay, so it's following me now. Um, uh, over here. Over here. Is there, like, a, someone I can buy rotten flesh from, or do I just have to find it? Uh, okay, so, it's following me right now. I want to name it. Um, ooh, who are you? A uh, Jasper, we are currently above the lush lands. Ooh, we're above the lush lands. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Uh, ooh, dragon coins. I'll take these. Uh, let me see. Ooh, a golden apple and some sweet berries. Uh, okay. Uh, that's cobwebs. Oh, oh, that was my dragon. I was like, what was that? Um, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Uh, ooh, another golden apple. Okay. Hello, little dragon. Um, okay, so that's it. Uh, let me eat this apple. Okay, so I think we'll end the video off here. I'll find some rotten flesh back on the ship off camera. This is super fun. I love it. Uh, come on, little mummy dragon. Let's go over here. This is super cool. I like the Shadowlands. They look cool. And then we have the Lushlands right under us. So I think next video, we'll explore the Feylands. That was the one that it said um, you should visit first. So we're going to go with that. Um, I kind of want to go to the Waystones, but I want my dragon to follow. 
So let's go over here. You guys want to talk to me too. Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to beast expert. There are a number of beasts you can tame. Um, okay, so lush lands. Uh, Feylands. That's the Feylands waystone. Uh, where's my little mummy dragon? There you are. Hello. Come here. You got it. You got it. There you go. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash like button and comment down below what you think of the Dragon Fire, um, not mod, but a uh, world that you can get on Bedrock Edition. It was about 1,300 and something coins. I think it was 1,340. Um, it is a little expensive, but it is totally worth it. I absolutely love it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. When you do, hit the notification bell and click all so you'll be notified when I post a video on the channel. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!